So, Matt, I, one of the simplest things you can bet on is a coin flip. Mm -hmm. And as I understand it, that's exactly what we're going to be doing, right? Yeah, absolutely. But this time, what we're doing and what's unique to us is we're placing a bet in space. So, as you say, exactly as you said, the first simplest thing is a coin flip, but our question is how do we make this work in space? So what we're going to do is we've designed this one rig here, we're going to send this up on a high altitude balloon, and as that goes up, we're going to start the coin spinning. Let me see this. So as we do that, I'm going to turn this on. Wow, so that's the actual coin itself, and that's going to be rotating throughout exactly. the flight. Exactly, so as you see there, we've got some custom heads and tails on there, and as that goes up on the balloon, as you can see, there's a controlled speed, there's a constant speed, but What's unique to this and what's unique to us is the balloon itself. That's our element of chance we introduce to this. We don't know when it's going to burst, there's nothing we can do about that. But as soon as it bursts, it's going to start its descent at a controlled velocity before hitting the ground and stopping Very as it stands. Very cool. So that's going to, that's going to arrest the, the coin, so to speak, in its tracks. It's going to absolutely, stop it dead. Absolutely. And so that's where we conclude the bet is which side of the coin is facing the camera as it hits the ground. But like I said, there's a controlled speed, but what we don't know is when it's going to burst and therefore how long the flight is going to take. That's genuinely impressive. But, but this is only half the puzzle. Absolutely. I mean, um, you, that's the coin flip side of things, but how are we actually going to place the wager in space on mm -hmm. that online? So let me just direct yourself to this second rig here. So as you say, that's what we're going to do here. We're going to place a bet in space on bet online. And so what we can do here is if I just carry this rig, I can show you we've got two parts of this. We've got the iPad and we've got the arm. And what that means is whilst we're on the ground, we can actually connect to this through a live feed, connect and communicate directly to the craft, and we can watch what's happening on this rig. And what's happening is we have the iPad, and that's connected to Bet Online. That's where we're hosting this, the, the bet. You know, is it heads or is it tails? What side of the coin is it going to land on? What's unique about this is it as well is in these boxes we've got our unique flight computers. They're taking data, they're taking altitude data, it's taking light sensor data, also random number generator. And what we can do is we're going to get this arm to place a random bet in space. So th this arm is actually going to absolutely, ex absolutely. execute the bet? So we've got some motions programmed, programmed into it, but the computer itself is going to decide heads or tails based on random data whilst it's in the flight. And we can watch that from the ground and we'll be doing that in a couple of days time and we'll see what the result is as it comes back down. Which I guess leads me on mm -hmm. to probably the most important question. How much are we going to wager on this? Shall we say 20 quid? That sounds about right to me. Put it there. Nice one. Look forward to Sound. it. Bet Online have a history of innovation with online gaming. They were the first company to place a wager at Basecamp at Mount Everest. They were also one of the first companies to accept bets in Bitcoin in their poker rooms. Now we've teamed up to take Bet Online to new heights. We're sent into space, and today we're going to place the world's first bet in space. So, as you can see in the background, Chris, my team are wrapping up their final checks. How about you, Chris? Well, Matt, the, the ground team are about to begin the fill of the balloon. It's this balloin that will carry our coin toss spacecraft into space. It's going to be filled with hydrogen, which is one of the lightest elements in the universe, and it's going to give us our buoyancy to carry this craft to over 100,000 feet above the Earth. As the craft progresses into space, the pressure will drop to less than 1% of what we experience at sea level. At this point, the balloon will be expanded so much it will be taller in height than the White House. Once it expands as far as it can, it will reach its failure point, it will explode in dramatic fashion, and it's at this point that our coin toss spacecraft will begin its return journey to Earth via a deployed parachute. But, Matt, where is it going to land? Well, that's what my team are doing at the minute. We're collecting live weather data from over 10,000 weather monitoring stations across the globe. And what we can do with the exact specification of your balloon, the amount of gas we put in it, and the correct choice of parachutes, we can predict within 100 meters exactly where it's going to land. And so what we're thinking at the minute, we're heading two and a half hours up the north coast of the UK and going towards the North Yorkshire Moors. Sounds good. Let's go check in with the team. Nice
Now, before we tune in, mate, how about a little bit of our own? I'm in. Heads or tails? Uh, I will go tails. That's the one. Right, let's just pull up the website here. We'll take our eyes and let's go for the website here. So we've got the heads or tails. So, so you're, happy, going... you're happy with heads? I'm happy with heads. You yeah. said that with a little bit too much confidence. I'm no. sorry to wonder if you know more than I do. You I did program the robot arm. No. I know I did. All very random. That's what I did. Okay, great. Well, let's I'm up go. for this. Right, so we're going to place our bet here. So let's see what the robot arm says. And let's tune in. There we are. That's, ama that's amazing. So the, the robot arm is saying tails. Mm -hmm. That's what it looks like to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing. So, well, let's uh, conclude this. Let's go find it. Yeah. Man. How are we looking? So That's all on. looking great. Look at this. That's all intact. Screen's looking good. Screen's still on. Nice. Well done. Nice. Well done, buddy. Nice. Let's see who's won that bet. Our launch is going to travel about 100 miles to the north today. Um, the, the conditions in the stratosphere are going to be a little bit turbulent, but right at the top of the fight, it should be beautiful and still. And a really nice, um, slow pan of our coin flipping in space. We really want to see whether it's heads or tails.
got, mate. This is looking no. good. Almost to the dot. Now it looks like that's all intact. It looks like we've got heads there. And you that was you, wasn't it? That does look like heads to me. Obviously, we need the cameras to confirm the exact moment of touchdown. It seems like we've had a downward impact and it's fallen on its side. All signs pointing towards heads. I'm excited. Um, Let's not rule it out yet. Let's see the uh, the match official uh, give us our final verdict, which I guess we need to get back to the office and review these cameras. Nice work, mate. Excellent work. What are we looking at here? So what I've done, we've got back to the office now, I've backed up all the flight computers, we've got the cameras here, so I can take a look at the data and we've got confirmation that on impact, the coin stopped spinning. We've got a confirmed result. On our screen on the left now, we've got the final moments of this journey. I'm just really excited to see what happens. So this, this is literally, I can't wait, I'm literally on the edge of my seat to see what the conclusion of this project is. And in just a few seconds, we're gonna to get touched down. The kill switches will be executed. We know they worked. So it's really just a case of, will it be heads? Will it be tails? Uh, more importantly, did I win or did you win? Absolutely. Absolutely. I think we're, well, we're five seconds away here. Four, three, two, one. Touchdown. Touchdown and it's a uh, head. I think so. That looks like a head. That, that is lines up with our results. So we've well. got it confirmed in data. We have a clear shot. I'm. Uh, over the moon that all this works. I'm a little bit disappointed that it didn't work in my favour. Uh, I owe you two quid and um, what a result. Absolutely. No, well, I think wins all around. I might have won the bet this time, but I think this whole project, absolutely. Wins. And it was two quid, wasn't it? It was a little bit more, but we'll talk about it. We'll see what the cameras say. Mate, I, I'm, I, I can't get enough of this result. I mean, all the designing, the execution, the launching, it all came together so well. Everything worked flawlessly. And uh, the world's first bat in space, there it is, that's the result. Absolutely, a heads. Well done, mate. Nice one.